News now out of newly discovered pictures in Germany, allegedly showing John Demjanjuk, once believed to be Ivan the Terrible, as a guard at a Nazi death camp. Andrew Horansky spoke with Demjanjuk's son today about what this could mean. Andrew, good evening. Good evening to you, Russ. John Jr. called them baseless, sensational, an attempt to sell books where those pictures can now be seen, claiming they don't prove a thing. In Berlin today, historians pointed to this picture and said, that's him, John Demjanjuk, the late auto worker who raised a family in Seven Hills after he left Europe. He was living the American dream. He was a good American citizen up until the government came along and said he was Ivan the Terrible. The subject of a documentary on Netflix fueling speculation he was once a brutal Nazi guard. The picture today was among hundreds from the estate of a soldier who died decades ago and among two allegedly showing Demjanjuk not as Ivan the Terrible, but as a guard at Sobibor. Nine years ago, a German court convicted him for being an accessory to murder there, which he denied, then appealed before his death, which spared him a legally binding verdict. When you look at that picture, what do you see? I see a bunch of people that have Slavic looking faces um, that, you know, uh, and, you know, where you probably have thousands of people that look like that walking around uh, uh, Germany and uh, Eastern Europe at the time. Well, it would not be the first time that Demjanjuk was the subject of mistaken identity. An Israeli court accusing him of being Ivan the Terrible of Treblinka, only to later overturn it. All at a time when there's interest in Sobibor. the title to a Russian movie and solemn remembrance of the Holocaust, with the world this week commemorating 75 years since the liberation of Auschwitz. Regardless of who's in these pictures, they are very significant. Keep in mind, most were destroyed in fear they could lead to legal proceedings. As many as 250,000 people died at Sobibor. Until now, there were only two known pictures of the camp. Russ, this collection will add dozens more and ultimately go to the U.S. Holocaust Memorial Museum in Washington, D.C. Wow. All right, Andrew. Thank you.